Hello again and welcome to the third uh, session of this video. In the previous video we have created the um, Linux uh, virtual machines and uh, we have built the images for the test machine. We have built the images needed for unit testing, integration testing and uh, sonar. Okay, so even if we don't have the entire infrastructure needed for our pipeline, we can uh, we can uh, try to start writing the pipeline now and uh, we will add uh, more images we will build more docker images when we will uh, actually need them so for the moment let's have a quick overview of the application that uh, it is used by, by uh, our pipeline so the application is a spring mvc application is a very simple application uh, it is hosted on uh, on a github account as you can see here and um, is not much to tell about it i have uh, uh, we have two branches the master branch and the developer branch at this moment they are the same we will follow the idea of a simple uh, git flow so uh, uh, the developers will uh, actually clone the developer branch will uh, start up a feature branch and uh, they will they will push the commits in the developer branch and uh, and we are expecting that when uh, when a feature is pushed in the developer branch Jenkins will uh, will build will uh, start the pipeline will build the code and uh, if the code uh, succeed it will go in production and it will go in uh, also in a new branch in a release branch okay so um, now i have to act uh, as a developer and uh, as the guy that uh, writes the jenkins file and uh, works with the jenkins uh, interface so it may look a little bit confusing but uh, the main idea is to to understand the steps is not so, so important uh, this aspect so now as a developer i will clone the project as i've done uh, i've done here so the application here is cloned from the developer branch and uh, now uh, i will uh, i will continue by by writing a simple jenkins file and uh, try to to fire up the process uh, to be able to build a job in jenkins so uh, here i have the jenkins file as a developer pro most probably i will not edit this file but I have to I have to cover the both aspects somehow so uh, this is the Jenkins file this is a very simple we will use this uh, this file just uh, to to have a quick uh, setup of the of the of the process so uh, consider this Jenkins file as uh, as available now and uh, now I have also installed Jenkins. Uh, it's not an, a brand new installation. I have some. I've done some uh, uh, plugging, installing, uh, and uh, some stuff. But it's nothing that it matters. So I will simply log in here with the default password of uh, of the Jenkins administrator nothing special so now i'm in jenkins you can as this folder says ignore so you can ignore it uh, what i will do next is to create a new item actually before creating a new item a new pipeline i will uh, generate a new ssh key pair because i want to i want to uh, pull the code from uh, github uh, via ssh uh, so 
uh, in order to create an SSH key pair we can easily follow this uh, this article and uh, from a from a command line simply follow the instruction the key pair was created I will uh, allow uh, the storage to be as default you can place this in any other in any other folder even in uh, in an SSH folder in uh, Jenkins okay okay now uh, the SSH key pair was created I uh, further I need to I need to share this uh, information between github and uh, and uh, Jenkins so uh, what I will do next first I will uh, I will place the private key in uh, Jenkins and the public key in uh, github so this is uh, the folder where the pair key was uh, was saved this is the public key and this is the private key I will edit the private key copy it from here and now I will go in Jenkins in credentials and uh, I will set add credentials here I will type uh, I will select first the SSH username with private key here I will type the username that I the username that I have for github and as you can see I can uh, provide the private key from a Jenkins uh, from a file on Jenkins master or even from a, from the SSH on Jenkins master but at this moment I will say I will choose and enter directly and I will paste here the private key and I will give it an ID let's say that this is github and i will push okay okay so the private key is uh, set up in jenkins and now i will go to github settings ssh keys now i will copy the public key and I will say new SSH okay I will say here Jenkins and I will paste it here okay I need to confirm my password in order to be able to push an SSH on github uh, so everything everything worked fine we have the we have the SSH key here, the public key, and the private key here. Now it is time to build to create our pipeline. For this, we go to Jenkins, new item, and uh, let's call it simple project. This is the name of our pipeline, and uh, I will select a pipeline from the list and click OK. okay this is the pipeline uh, the default with the default settings what I'm uh, interested here I will check do not allow concurrent builds this depends on you depends on the type of application the type of tests for example if you if you need to run some performance tests uh, and uh, a build is running another build can hit the same uh, the same uh, machine and now the performance tests may crash or may provide uh, corrupted data or or poor or simply the result uh, cannot uh, be considered uh, uh, okay so i will not allow concurrent builds and uh, now I have to here is the section that we have to edit the Jenkins file the pipeline code uh, I will select pipeline script for SEM since uh, 
we provide the code in a Jenkins file I need to provide the git in our case we need the repository URL this is simply to to obtain I will simply go here and cap say and uh, check use uh, SSH I will copy this link sorry I will close this I will copy it here and now as you can see there is an error this uh, this occurs because uh, Jenkins cannot uh, cannot communicate with github it needs the credentials okay I will specify here the credentials and uh, now everything works fine the um, Jenkins pipeline is uh, successfully communicated with uh, the github repository now we have choose the branch to build in our case we don't build the master we bra we will build the developer okay so this uh, these settings are enough for now we can save and uh, if we go to Jenkins we see our project here is ready to ready to go now before we can uh, we can run uh, the first uh, the first build you have to be aware the, about the fact that I've already configured some uh, some stuff in Jenkins uh, for example if we if we go to global tool configuration you can see that I've already provide a JDK installation git installation and uh, maven installation basically if you don't have this on your on your Jenkins you need to install each of them you can do it manually or you can let Jenkins to install them automatically uh, the important uh, thing the important thing is to provide a name and uh, a path to each of these artifacts one thing to notice here if you are using uh, Windows and Linux uh, machines is uh, about git uh, the path to the git uh, exe it uh, though is not recommended to, to, to be written like this for example uh, git exe is, uh, is uh, well known by uh, a Windows machine but is not uh, known by a Linux machine while uh, simply git is known by Linux and by Windows so uh, this was just a little tip now um, that you have installed um, maven git and uh, JDK you can save the, the settings and get back to our pipeline okay so now let's see the pipeline and uh, we can try to build we can try to build the pipeline based on our simple Jenkins file remember that we have this simple Jenkins file available so let's see what uh, what is happening I will uh, watch the console to see the output the pipeline uh, runs successfully and we can see the hello message so now we know that uh, our pipeline is working we can uh, fire up a build and uh, Jenkins will uh, will check out the code from uh, from our developer branch and will uh, will execute the pipeline okay so far so good okay that's it for this session uh, in the next session we will continue to develop our pipeline see you soon